with these, the heights, yeah, they're nice, but you can take them and move them in any position. The badges still work the same. It's not like a few years ago where if you went from power four to small four, you lose out on badges. Same way, vice versa, small four to power four, you gain more badges. With this build, you're solely purpose on being a playmaker and defender. And then from there, you're going to be able to uh, hit some shots or go in for a layup. But your main purpose is to actually be a defender and get your teammates involved. There's a lot of people that don't like playing that style, but this is for you. Layups are way better. Layup timing is better. Pro touch, like I said, you don't really, it, it pops up. Even I don't know if it's not supposed to pop up, but you don't have to use the stick anymore. Um, from this build, you can hit a few close shots. Don't take it unless you're open. Drive and dunk could give you a few drives. Drive and dunks. I think CJ McCollum is only a 40, so you're good. You can get drive and dunk if you're open, saying you run on a fast break. Or you just completely kill your uh, opponent and he's stuck behind you. You should be able to get a dunk off. You get to hit mid ranges. 72 is plenty. Three, you can hit. Just got to find your jump shot. Free throw, you can hit. Find a free throw that you like. From here, pass and accuracy. You, as long as you know how to pass, you should be fine. Don't throw stupid passes because you don't need bailout. If you if you don't throw stupid passes, you don't need bailout. If you want bailout, then you can try to finagle some stuff and get you bailout. I don't think you need it. I feel like if you're playing this style, then you should know how to actually pass the ball without jumping in the air and taking a bash jump shot or a layup get a lot of your uh, badges gold <sighs> you it's going to be hard to get blow by gold you can do it but this is not the build this is not a rim running build so that's why I didn't get gold on here. Speed with ball, get a lot of stuff, go hyperdrive, come out the, do a spin out of the triple threat, then go forward, do a step back. You should be able to hit or pass to your teammate because somebody's going to close out on you that shouldn't have moved. Should be able to lock up the other point guard because it's positioning it's IQ into being able to move your feet don't go left right go at angles you should be able to stop your the point guard um should be able to steal the ball glove and right stick st uh ripper stack so I would just try to use the stick to go for steals, I lock up these point guards. They're going to have like a 90 something uh, ball handle or two, and they're gonna have gold and pluck if they're smart. But you should be able to, once you start making them lose adrenaline boosts, you should be able to steal the ball from them. Uh, Hyperdrive, fast feet, so. This is key. You're going to be able to keep up with the other point guard. They're not going to expect that you have fast feet and able to stop them. They, they're just not going to expect it. And you get a movable force, which improves your strength. So you you might be able to body them up because most likely they won't have any strength. So you might be able to stonewall them up and just stop them in their tracks. Um, 
you can pick him up 94 feet hall of fame up to you that's up to you but you should be able to play defense and get your teammates involved and hit the open shot or open open layup when you have it To me, this is a better Drew Holiday build than what they actually have for a template. 